I found it through an agent at the time I was like really in a rush to find a new place to live because my other place that I shared with the two boys it was already like the contract was already over and I was like I don't have anywhere to live and I needed to find somewhere close to school so this place is like one and a half kilometers away from school and I can basically just walk there within 10 minutes I wasn't exactly very happy with it because there's not a lot of natural light and if you look like right outside is a car park and it's just so annoying like when I come out of the shower like I have to make sure I'm fully dressed like I have to make sure that I'm not flashing people all the time and because it's like a, a long sort of way in like it's just one long rectangle so only this room gets the slightest amount of sunshine and then the living room and the kitchen is like always pitch black and when there's no sunshine because I'm level one like it's just always pitch black and I always have to have all the lights on and I like thrive off sunlight so sometimes this place makes me really moody also the fact that like every Everything is breaking oh my gosh like this month I fixed the washing machine the sink like the sinkhole and also I just got my toilet unclogged and not because I did something nasty just because the toilet was not that good also like now the toilet roof is leaking and I don't know why but yeah and I also got the whole water thing to fix and when I first moved in the gas was leaking and I'm not even joking like it was leaking so much that when I was walking like I could feel like lightheaded like I could feel myself like going in and out Anyway, so this place costs 4750 not including gas and electricity. So I pay every two months and basically the two month fee for a house is like 9500 and I'll pay like another 200 for gas, electricity and whatnot. Um, it's pretty cheap considering the size, it's pretty big um, because they, this area is added out so it should have just ended there like that room. But this area they sort of made into another room, thank goodness, so the place is heaps bigger. I think it's 45 meters squared. So yeah, like... This area is um, Changning Chu, but it's like right on the cusp of Jing'an, so it's just literally on the other side of my school. It's very Asian, like it's one of those old Asian like house things, like it's not an elevator or anything, it's all stairs, and it's just kind of creepy sometimes at night. And there's a lot of old people, so yeah, but now that I'm moving, I'm really excited. And my friend's actually going to take over this apartment, the owner of this little rascal over here. It was attacking everything, but yeah, she's going to be moving in here and I hope she's going to be happy. But the neighbors are really sweet, like my neighbor next door, she always helps me out. She waters my plants when I leave and she like hangs up my like um, bedding and stuff for me because I don't have anywhere to hang my bedding and stuff. But yeah, she's really sweet, but I'm excited to get out of this place. I wanted to live somewhere like more like French concession-y, which is where a lot of the expats and the international people live. And there's just a lot of like cafes and the whole area is just like nicer like this place is just very like um very traditionally chinese if you know what i mean and if you live in shanghai you cannot live on the first floor during summer because it's such a humid city that everything calm down that everything will get moldy so make sure you don't live on the first floor like i did we used to be friends we used to be in a circle 
I don't 